Terra Harvest, Dalina Son Rimola. Greetings from Tallinn, Estonia, where currently the third global conference on media freedom is underway. We, the Global Forum for Media Development, is happy to be part of this initiative and we have been engaging with partners, with development funders and others about the critical issues facing the media freedom and freedom of expression sector. One important issue that came up and we were asked this question is what are the most challenging issues identified about the media support sector? In our response as GFMD, a response which is always evidence-based, we, uh, we said the following, and I will stick to three um, issues. Issue number one being that of trust and recognition of professional journalists as credible information sources in both analog and digital worlds. Secondly, working in environments hostile to independent media, issues with securing funding and having an inability to diversify revenues. These are the three major challenges that we highlighted. Another question, and a very pertinent one, that was posed to and articulated at various forums during this conference is the following. So, in view of this, how can various stakeholders, including governments, the private sector, um, civil society, what can they do to enhance media freedom and safety of journalists. Once again, as GFMG always does, it bases its responses on evidence, evidence sourced from our members. The 2020 GFMD Joint Emergency Appeal for Journalism and Media Support was signed by 180 organizations. That particular appeal provided a comprehensive list of specific and actionable recommendations for governments, technology firms, telecommunication companies, and internet intermediaries for advertisers, journalists and media development donors and funders. But at its core, and this is important to note, at its core, such support should ensure what I'd like to refer to as the notion or the concept of parity of participation, the notion of equitable participation and diversity of journalism and media sector voices in decision making for policy impact worldwide. And that would be in the sphere of international development and multilateral institutions and in policy and advocacy in the digital sphere. And this brings me to a further discussion of the collaborative process for updating and codifying of the guiding principles on effective support to journalism, which was discussed in an important session yesterday. Um, the aim to strengthen and reinforce effective international support to the media sector. For those of you who do not have the opportunity to have joined us here in person or online, um, note that this session on renewing the principles yesterday, uh, the meeting heard of the willingness from donors and media development institutions and practitioners to make real steps towards inclusivity, equity, justice and empowerment. We want to see media support doing development differently adopting agile and locally driven programs that move away from donor driven solutions. We need longer funding cycles with less burdensome reporting requirements that allow journalists to do journalism. Because so many of the challenges are political, the commitment of the donor community is perhaps more important now than ever before. And this includes the role of donors in thinking strategically and holistically, pursuing innovation, taking risks and empowering their partners, both international and domestic, to do the same. On the matter of policy and advocacy, there's a resource knowledge and expertise gap related to digital markets specifically. Competition policies, state aid rules, 
media pluralism, future digital and media regulation that we have to urgently address. At present, our members cannot appropriately advocate for policies that promote freedom of expression, media freedom and media plurality. These need to strengthen local, regional and international capacities to engage in digital governance policy, debates and invest into actionable research and policy developments and advocacy worldwide to maintain and sustain public interest journalism. So, with that said, what are the GFMD multi-stakeholder initiatives for communication, coordination, cooperation and collaboration that address these very issues mentioned? There are two that I want to bring to your attention with your permission. That would be the Dynamic Coalition on the Sustainability of Journalism and News Media and secondly GFMD Impact, our International Media Policy and Advisory Centre. The Dynamic Coalition on the Sustainability of Journalism and News Media is an official dynamic coalition of the Internet Governance Forum and provides opportunities for stakeholders who have traditionally been absent from digital policy discussions and coalition building around news media sustainability in the digital age. The other multi-stakeholder initiative I want to mention is GFMD Impact, our International Media Policy and Advisory Center. GFMD Impact convenes donors, practitioners, researchers, and other stakeholders in the media development and journalism support sector to provide a safe and importantly neutral space for open conversation and exchange of opinions through a mixture of open and off the record learning meetings and discussions. The GFMD Impact Help Desk uses a network of experts and resources brought together by GFMD Impact to respond in a timely fashion to requests from donors, practitioners, and policymakers. These very practical interventions lead to effective policy making, decision making in a way that we hope will support the development and sustainability of the media ecosystem. Thank you for your time.